So guys, for the first method, you wanna head over to search and type in reset this PC. Click on it. And then once you're on this next advanced startup, you wanna click on restart now, and then click on restart now again. Wait for this to load. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on troubleshoot, and then click on advanced options, and then click on startup settings, and then click on restart. Wait for this to load. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on either free or F3 on your keyboard to enable low resolution video. So click on free or F3 on your keyboard. See if this fixes your problem. And now for the next method, you wanna head over to search again and type in display settings. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna make sure that you have your scale and your display resolution both set to the recommended option. So next to scale, you wanna click on this, set this to your recommended option, and do the same thing for your display resolution. Set that to your recommended option as well. And you also wanna scroll down and then click on advanced display. Right here is gonna be showing your refresh rate Make sure that it's not too high for your monitor. Make sure that it's on the correct refresh rate. I recommend going with 60 hertz. And now for the last step, you wanna head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna expand display adapters. And then you wanna find your graphics card. You wanna right click on it, and then click on update driver, and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers for your device installed. And now for the next step, I'm gonna leave three links down below for Nvidia, AMD, and Intel. You're gonna download the software that comes with your graphics card. So for me, I have an Nvidia graphics card, so I download the GeForce experience. And now once you're in your software, you wanna click on the driver tab, and then click on check for updates. Make sure your graphics card drivers are fully up to date for the software itself. And then once you do that, you just wanna restart your computer, and then the problem should be fixed. 